Hey there Capricorn, welcome to Shared Sentience and thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general weekly reading. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all of that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below, uh, as well as information for my Instagram and Twitter. If you guys want to follow me on those platforms, that information is down below as well. So what I've done for this round, um, I had somebody ask me to use these tools again, so I'm just going to use them uh, one more time, or not just one more time, but I'm going to use them this time uh, just to see how it goes. So I've got uh, a domino, a marble, a rune, and some dice pulled out for you guys, and I also have an affirmation card. So I'm going to go over those, and then I'm going to pull some um, oracle cards and clarify with the tarot. So the affirmation card is, I allow myself to accept prosperity. Okay, so this says money is simply energy and an exchange of services. How much I have depends on what I believe, okay? So I like that a lot because I feel like that's a lot of what is showing up here just looking at this on the surface of things. So we've got the 6-6 six, six tile showing up, which is the best tile that you can pull. Um, and it represents great fortune. So this could be in money matters. It could be in love or, you know, whatever. But we've also got this galaxy marble here. Um, so I feel like this is really a lot about uh, the way that you speak to the universe. I feel like you guys do have a clean slate available to you right now. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of doors are opening for you, and I feel like it has a lot to do with the way that you uh, speak to the universe. A lot of red showing up here. Um, I think there's a lot going on with creation or a will to create. Uh, lots of Leo energy here as well as Aries and Scorpio, okay? Um, now, we've also got Lagos, which is the rune that we have here. This is um, water energy. It's renewal. It's a tree of life. Um, it cycles ending, new ones beginning. Okay, but I honestly feel like w with the number one showing up here, I feel like, you know, this is unity. This is bringing everything together. That's how I feel here with this, especially with this five showing up. It's like, um, it's this number of like personal freedom and adventure. Okay, I feel like you guys have a lot of changes showing up, but I also feel like you're bringing a lot of things together for yourself, if that makes sense. I don't necessarily feel like this is you closing out cycles. I think it's you uh, creating one big cycle with a lot of different things. So I like this a lot. There's just major manifestation energy showing up here uh, and creating something new, something that's never been done before with that number one showing up there. Okay, what else? What's going on here? So we've got one popping out here. It says, you're ready. Okay, uh, what's this one? Forgiveness. All right. Um, communicate clearly. And not the right time. Interesting. We've got your ready and we've also got not the right time. So we'll see what's going on here with those. All right. So, okay. What is going on with your ready? What's going on with your ready for Capricorn, please? What's going on if you are ready for Capricorn? Okay. So we're getting the Knight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Knight of Wands. Give me just a second here with these. Okay. So we've got uh, Sag, Leo, and Virgo. All right. Interesting. I feel like you guys uh, have been going in... I don't really want to necessarily say it's the wrong direction, but you've been kind of taking a slow road with something here with this Knight of Pentacles. All right. Um, I feel like you're seeing changes in something. Some of you guys are getting a lot of recognition. I was feeling that up here as well. It was something I didn't mention yet, but um, I do feel like you're getting a lot of recognition for something with the Six of Wands showing up here. Some kind of passion of yours possibly with the uh, Knight of Wands here, but I feel like you've been taking a slow road with something is how I'm feeling with that. All right, and I feel like you're moving into an energy of victory. You're running into victory as you speed things up is how I feel here with that Knight of Wands. I feel like you're uh, gaining momentum um, when it comes to something here. I feel like you've been gathering resources or doing something here, gathering information, whatever this is. I feel like you are ready. You're picking things up and you're taking off with it, okay? What else is going on here? What is this about? Okay, we've got the uh, Nine of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. So I feel like it's about some kind of vision you had to create. Like I said, uh, you've got a lot of knights showing up here. So knights are like on a quest. So I feel like you guys were trying to find something, find the pieces. I feel like you did. I feel like that's why you're picking up momentum here. And I feel like that's why you're moving from this knight to the queen. You're creating, okay? You're putting that dream into action is how I feel here. Um, and you're getting what you want out of that, okay? With that Nine of Cups showing up here. I also feel like, you know, when the Nine of Cups shows up, there's a lot surrounding 
finding him. I feel like this is like a support system, guides backing you on some kind of journey, on some kind of new level, all right? Might be a little bit scary, honestly. Again, I feel like, you know, this person here in the center, I feel like you guys are getting a lot of attention. You might be traveling, all right? Uh, some of you guys, there could be a move coming up. Um, I feel like there's a little bit of doubt when it comes to something, but you just need to keep going. That's how I feel with that. And like I said, um, I feel like you guys have been gathering information or knowledge or something here for a minute uh, that's allowing you to move forward, okay? So I like that a lot. I think you're taking all those things with you. I don't necessarily feel like you're leaving anything behind or leaving anything out. What is forgiveness about? I need to use this other deck, okay? What's forgiveness about? What is forgiveness about? Or Capricorn. Mm, goodness gracious. Okay, so we've got the Two of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. All right, Libra, Cancer, and uh, Sagittarius. Some of you guys might have your Moon in Libra or Moon in Cancer. All right, there's a lot going on with the emotions. Uh, I feel like you guys have some feelings here that you're not addressing with that Four of Cups. Hmm. Interesting. Tell me about the Two of Swords. What's going on with this Two of Swords? Justice. Okay. I think there's a choice you guys have to make. There's something you need to make right or someone else needs to make something right because this is clarifying forgiveness. Okay. Um... I think for some of you, you're going to have to make something right, all right? But I feel like it's something on someone else's end, if that makes sense. I think you guys are going to have to forgive someone without the apology. It's one of those things here. Uh, two of Swords, you know, she's got that blindfold on. This is Moon and Libra energy. This is really uh, looking within, focusing on your own emotions or intuition uh, to balance things out. It's really acting as that justice, as those justice scales, excuse me. So I feel like you guys are having to make something right within you, all right? I think there's something you're not listening to here with that Four of Cups, all right? What's this Four of Cups about? Six of Swords. Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords again, okay? I feel like you guys aren't listening to your intuition about something. Two of Swords is clarifying that. More Moon and Libra energy. So I feel like this is about something you need to move on from, okay? Uh, with that Six of Swords showing up, Aquarian energy, and the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. I feel like you guys are in a stubborn um, kind of state here, not wanting to believe something, okay? Um, I feel like because of that, because you don't want to face the truth of a situation here, I think you're carrying it with you. It could be about a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. What's the Ten of Wands about? What is this Ten of Wands? What is this Ten of Wands? What is it? Four of Cups. <laughs> Goodness, it just keeps, you, you keep going in a circle here, okay? I keep getting the same cards, all right? Different decks, too. Uh, Four of Cups is showing up here to clarify this Ten of Wands. I feel like you guys are, and, and the Moon, and an, another Moon card, Moon and Aquarius, with the Seven of uh, Swords. Yeah, I feel like you guys are ignoring your intuition about something. I think you're lying to yourself with that Seven of Swords. I feel like you're deceiving yourself about something. Um, when you know the truth, internally you know the truth. Um, so I feel like... Uh, Facing something, you're going to be able to forgive. All right, facing some kind of truth here. Ace of Pentacles, Judgment and the Lovers. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be able to make something right within you, okay? This isn't, I mean, I think it involves another person, but I feel like this is about um, having balance, having peace within yourself, harmony within yourself, okay? There's a big turning point here, Um as you wake up to something with this judgment card, uh, there's some kind of new truth that you are, um, it's not really new. I don't want to call it new. I just feel like it's a truth that you are uh, accepting. Okay, that's how this feels to me here with this Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like it's allowing you to forgive and let go of something. Also forgiving yourself. And it's going to open new doors for you because there's, there's nothing there blocking that. There's no kind of resentment there blocking that. It's going to allow you to manifest new things. Okay, what is going on with this? Communicate clearly. What is going on with this? Communicate clearly for Capricorn. What's going on with communicate clearly for Capricorn? The moon, the 
Queen of Pentacles and the world. Uh, so I kind of mentioned this a little bit in Taurus uh, with this Queen of Pentacles and I'm immediately getting uh, something similar for you guys. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is, um, she, she's really resourceful. I feel like there's something here that you guys could be trying to preserve, some kind of connection, emotion, illusion you're holding on to with that moon card. I think that you guys, um, I think there was something you felt and it was, um, Something didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. And I think some of you guys are still holding on to that. Here, you're trying to preserve that with that Queen of Pentacles. Um, and I feel like it's blocking other things from coming in, okay? I feel like your intuition is just... Uh I don't know how to explain it here, honestly. I feel like you guys are holding on to something here uh, because your intuition is telling you to hold on to it. What is going on with not the right time? Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles. I think you guys are right about whatever this is. That's the thing here. I feel like you guys need to close something out with this World card um, in order to allow for other things to come in because I feel like over here, you're ready for something, okay? You're ready for something, but this is clogging it up. Um, I feel like these two things need one another, if that makes sense. Um, and I don't feel like it's people. I feel like these two experiences need one another, all right? So I feel like you're going to have to let go of something in order for this over here to happen. Uh, this Ten of Cups here, this, this victory with that Ace of Swords, all right? I feel like this could be a connection. All right, I definitely feel like this is a connection uh, that you guys are still clinging to here. And it's not, it's it's stopping you from something else that you are ready for, okay? It's taking up room, all right? And I think that for some of you, you guys are like, I know it, it's got to be it. That's how this feels here with this moon card. Um, yeah, and I feel like you're kind of in your feelings about it here. But I think you need to forgive someone and let something go, all right? So this new thing can move in or so you can start this new journey here. And then I think that this thing might actually be returning. What's well, not the right time? Yeah, I feel like this thing could actually be returning. But right now it's kind of stuck because it's not the right time, okay? <laughs> With the hangman here, it's just not, all right? Uh, I feel like you guys need to really just give this to the universe, all right? Uh, with this three of wands showing up, Aries energy. Um, I, and, you know, if it's meant for you, it's going to come back around. And I feel like it is. Uh, so, you know, let it go, all right? The sun, happiness, high vibrations, joy, embracing new beginnings, new structures with that hair font showing up. I feel like some of you guys need this new experience in order to have this one, if that makes sense. So that's why this is on on hold is because you have to do this first okay um it might involve a taurus or a leo is there anything else here for capricorn is there anything else here for capricorn what do, what do, what do they need to communicate here we didn't get there what, what is that what do we need to communicate here five of wands three of cups seven of pentacles king of swords on the bottom here aquarian energy king of swords to me is an energy of um the heart, it doesn't have to be harsh, but I'm getting like the harsh truth, okay? I feel like you guys have been holding back in a situation. There's something that you need to say here, all right? Um, of the court cards, the only ones that will face you straight are is the king of swords, okay? So I feel like this is about needing to really say something straight up, honestly, exactly how you feel about something. I feel like you guys have been holding back um, how you feel. And I think that's also been causing a lot of problems for you with this five of wands showing up, Leo energy, three of cups. I think for some of you, you've been trying to keep the harmony in a situation, keep the peace, all right? Yeah. Uh, you've got the seven of pentacles here. I think that this has been causing blockages um, and it's been delaying your harvest here. You know, with that seven of pentacles showing up, you know, the six of pentacles, you planted the seeds. Seven, you're kind of waiting on things to grow. You're waiting on that harvest to happen with that three of cups, but it's not because you're still holding on to something with that five of wands, okay? And it's causing conflict. It's causing uh, delays, all right? And that's how I feel here. I feel like you guys need to let something go or communicate that you forgive someone or apologize to someone. It's something like that here. Um, where there's some kind of, um, you're creating some kind of resistance is just how I feel here. You're holding on to something and it's taking up space, all right? Um, and I think that it could come back around and take up space later in a way that it's meant to, okay? But I feel like right now you need to focus on this this thing that you're ready for. It feels work-related here uh, for most of you guys, all right? So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Capricorn. I hope this was helpful and not too confusing, Um but yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. And you all have a great week. Bye.